just stay right where you are doing right what you're doing in 1 Corinthians 3 he says and I brethren could not speak to you as to spiritual men but as to men of flesh as to infants in Christ I gave you milk to drink not solid food for you are not yet able to receive it Indeed, even now, you are not yet able, for you are still fleshly. For since there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not fleshly? And are you not walking like mere men? For when one says, I am of Paul, and the other, I am of Apollos, are you not mere men? What then is Apollos, and what is Paul? Servants through whom you believed even as the Lord gave opportunity to each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God was causing the growth. So then neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but God who causes the growth. Now he who plants and he who waters are one, but each will receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are God's fellow workers, you are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God which was given to me, like a wise master builder, I laid a foundation, and another is building on it. But each man must be careful how he builds on it. For no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, each man's work will become evident, for the day will show it because it is to be revealed with fire, and the fire itself will test the quality of each man's work. If any man's work which he has built on it remains, he will receive a reward. If any man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. Do you know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If any man destroys the temple of God, God will destroy him, for the temple of God is holy, and that is what you are. Let no man deceive himself, If any man among you thinks he is wise in this age, he must become foolish, so that he may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness before God. For it is written, He is the one who watches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the reasonings of the wise, that they are useless. So then let no one boast in men, For all things belong to you, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the word or life or death or things present or things to come, all things belong to you and you belong to Christ and Christ belongs to you. I just feel tonight a sense that God is calling us higher. I feel like specifically he's calling us higher by going lower. I just feel like a reverence for God. And honestly, like I just feel the fear of the Lord tonight. feel like I need to say this tonight, that beloved, he wants your heart, he wants your mind, he wants your body, he wants every part of you. I think we're coming to a time that we have to be really careful. Man, 
was having this conversation earlier today. really careful trying to be on both sides of the fence. I feel like God is asking for holiness. And he's asking for submittance to him. If any man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss, but he himself will be saved, yet so as through fire. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If any man destroys the temple of God, God will destroy him, for the temple of God is holy, and that is what you are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you thinks he is wise in this age, he must become foolish, so that he may become wise. I'm not looking at anyone tonight, and I hope you're not looking at me. I just want to ask us tonight this. Are you willing to be foolish to the people around you for the sake of Jesus? Are you willing to live fully dedicated to the heart of Jesus? To pursue him above all else? We sing songs like, tear down the walls of my tradition and break down the walls of my religion. I believe one of the most common places people hide from God is in the pews of a church. I think that Christians get really good at being in services and being in environments that they know how to move and operate inside of. But he sees you and he knows you and his heart is for you. (laughs) He's a good father. His heart is for you. He actually wants your heart. I don't believe guilt comes from God. I do believe conviction does. Beloved, tonight, God wants your heart. All of it. Every part. tonight, if you can feel that there is anything inside of you that is holding back from fully dedicating your life and your heart to Jesus, I just want to invite you to let it go. It is not worth it. He is. The goodness and the pleasure of the Lord is worth anything you could give up in this lifetime. 
The Bible says, seek first the kingdom and all things will be added unto you. The amazing thing is he doesn't even want to take the joys in your life. Like it sounds, he actually wants to give you more, but he wants all of your heart. Father, would you help us to give you everything? Father, I give you everything. All of my life, all of my heart, all of my devotion, God. God, I want to be trusted by you. God, I don't care how our meetings look. And I ask that you would forgive me for all the times that I have, and I do. Father, I just want you. I want you to be honored, Jesus. I want your name to be magnified here. I want your name to be glorified in my life. And I pray over each person here tonight, God, that you would shape us and mold us into deep, true disciples and followers of you, God. That we would be willing to leave anything necessary to follow you, Jesus. And God, I pray for strength for the journey over each person here tonight. And I pray for energy where there is lack of energy and there's exhaustion. I pray for clarity where there's confusion. I pray for peace where there is strife. I pray for healing where there's brokenness. I pray for passion where there's apathy. God, teach us how to walk as children of God. How would you help us to work through and past our bad habits and our walls and our fears and our hesitancies? God, would you wash us and make us clean and pure and holy before you, God?
And Lord, would you make us shining examples of who you are to the world around us. God, that when people would have conversations with us, that we would exude the love of Jesus. God, I pray that there would be a sense that something is different. Something beyond us. Beyond our charisma or our words, God. But there's something inside of us. Because Jesus, there's something inside of us that the world needs. So God, would you move through us. Continue to humble us, God, and help us to stay low so that you can be exalted high. We love you, Father. I pray blessings over each person here tonight. 